Colorado's original corn maze at Fritzler Farm Park has paid tribute to sports icons, the Rocky Mountains, healthcare workers, and more. And this year, the park has unveiled a 9-11 tribute design. And Denver 7 photojournalist Eric English has a one-of-a-kind look from the sky. It's about 15 acres. This is year 22. We started in 2000. Nobody in Colorado knew what a corn maze was back then, and we, we took a leap of faith, and it was like a duck to water. It was a perfect fit for us. There's a lot of work. We think about the maze all year long. We really start planning in about March. Most people think we do it when the corn's this size, but we do it when the corn's about six inches tall. Uh -huh. The corn maze design is already cut. It was actually cut back in July. And, um, and we're out right now cleaning the trails up so it's like a sidewalk when, when our customers come and visit. But that's a guy uh, with a hoe and a rake fixing, smoothing the trails out. Somewhere we've got a guy on a machine that's packing the trails. It's pure joy. It's the greatest reaction. That's why we're, we, we love doing it and we'll be doing this forever. We have um, employees in the maze in case you happen to get lost, they can help you navigate your way through. The third one we did was the one year anniversary 9-11 and it ended up on the Today Show in the in New York Times. And, so, okay. and, that, and that was one of my favorites. This is right up there because uh, I think with the anniversary of 9-11 and just everything that's going on in the world, need to remember the people that lost their lives and hopefully that never happens again. Some of the proceeds from this year are going to the Tunnels to Tower Foundation. The owner of this foundation, the, his brother got killed in the, he was a fire, a New York firefighter and went up in the towers and never came out. We just really want to honor those people that um, gave their lives 20 years ago and continue to put themselves in the front line today. It's coming in clearer and clearer. You know, we hear that's a firefighter with the 9-11 in the background.